birthday this weekend and I, the amazing girlfriend that I am, um, decided to bring him to Paris because he's never been. He's been like so many different places but not Paris. Our hotel is just down one of these roads and this is the Arc de, Tri Arc de Triomphe. Stop saying triumph. It's Arc de Triomphe when I keep saying it wrong. But isn't it lovely? And I think all the little roads and stuff are so nice in Paris. Like, I love how the architecture is is done here. So yeah, it's lovely. We're just gonna go and find somewhere to eat because we're quite hungry. So um, yeah, I'll check in when we found somewhere. We found a little cafe. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's called Le General. And um, we've just got some drinks and we've ordered our food. And we're literally next to the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, the Arc de Triomphe is just down that road over there. And I got an Orangina because we don't have Orangina in the UK. Although you said that they're bringing it back, didn't you? They're bringing it back, but in plastic bottles. In plastic bottles, which is not the same. You have to get Orangina in a glass bottle. Everyone knows that. I, I wouldn't drink it. Find out if they have Orangina. Ask, your, ask all the people you have met if they have it all over. Yeah, like they probably America have it in the, everywhere in the world apart from the UK. See if they have it in America. I bet they've never. I bet Americans have never enjoyed Orangina. Let me know if you've tried Orangina and what your thoughts are on it. It's a bit like Fanta, but it's got like the pulp in it. I don't know which I prefer to be honest. I think Orangina is like. It's a treat. You can only get it like when you're abroad, but the bottles are the best part. The food has arrived and oh my god, these look incredible. We both went for the same thing. It's called a Woody Burger and it's got like caramelised onions in it. Anything that's got caramelised onions in, I am going to probably order. I'll try one of these chips. Yeah. We're just back at the hotel now and um, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what it looks like. It's called the Hidden Hotel and it's down like a really cute little street. So there is like lots of seating area spaces and this hotel is like very ecologically friendly which is one of the reasons why I chose it because I really like that idea. just come into our room and it's so so amazing here it is so um it's called the sensation room because there's loads of different options of uh rooms hey hello um in here we've got the toilet and then there's like a little um desk area here with the tv i really like this lamp shade really into that um and this is the bed, which is like probably the most amazing part. It's got uh, these curtains that pull across all the way. And in the middle, they've given us a, um, a little chocolate bar and a note. And it says, Dear Mrs. Day, <laughs> but Mrs. Oh God. <laughs> I'm not married. Um, Bienvenue au Hidden Hotel. Welcome to Paris. The entire Hidden team is delighted to welcome you for such an event. Happy birthday, your Hidden team. And then they put rose petals around it. That is so, so sweet. Did you tell them it was my birthday? I might have done. <laughs> um, and then in here is the um, shower area. So we have a sink there with some rituals, body lotion, shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that. And then in here, is the shower oh it pulls open not slide nice big shower nice waterfall shower with a little seat on there and that's it it is gorgeous and the view from outside looks like this this is the thing we're worried about there's like building works right um next to our room but well it's sunday tomorrow so it won't be um too bad then but on monday morning it might be but that's okay um and then down here is a lovely view of the Parisian streets. How sweet. We are just heading down to the lobby for some cocktails before we go out. And um, we're gonna go to the Eiffel Tower to see it sparkle. We're gonna have a few cocktails at the hotel. Um, what are you feeling like? Uh, the cosmopolitan. Or blue, blue I do kit. love a Cosmo. I might get a Cosmo uh, too. These look fantastic. Cold in there. Yeah. Shall I try one? Yeah. 
strong. Is it good? <laughs> really strong. It's good though, yeah. We have made it to the Eiffel Tower. Look at this. There it is in all its glory. There's going to be loads of people yeah. watching these videos who haven't seen the Eiffel Tower. So there it is, people. It's much more amazing in real life than it is on camera, but it's still pretty amazing nevertheless. what it looks like and at the moment there's a giant ball ball in the middle right for Christmas but this is so amazing I've been here before but I, I forgot how like how incredible the Eiffel Tower is it's beautiful this is insane isn't it so I've come to the conclusion that McDonald's in France is one million times better than in England first of all they have beer I don't even like beer but you know we're drinking tonight and so I'm not gonna say no Second of all, they have wedges, as well as chips. Third of all, they have a chicken Big Mac. So, this is way better than in England, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yes, I'm very impressed. Morning! Today's a very, very, very special day because somebody... Don't tell them. Is, is 24! 24, woo! He's not happy about being 24. Every time I mention it, he gets a bit, a bit moody, don't you? Yes. We had such a nice night last night. We went to the Eiffel Tower and at midnight, the sparkles came on and it was obviously Dan's birthday. So it was like seeing him his birthday and it was like amazing. Today, we're gonna go back to the Eiffel Tower and see it in the daytime. We're also gonna get the um, happy birthday. We're also gonna get the bateau bus, we think, and go to a few different places on that if we can and um, but right now we're going to go for a birthday lunch, uh, birthday breakfast even downstairs at the hotel so I will take you along with us
We just stopped up for some lunch and I have got a savoury crepe with bolognese, which looks amazing. I'm so excited to try it. We've got chips, we both got a milkshake and you got a chicken sandwich, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> from Paris last night and I didn't vlog yesterday at all really because or if yeah no I don't think I vlogged at all um I have a very good reason for it so in my holiday vlog for the Dominican Republic it was half an hour long and that wasn't even like half of the footage I didn't even use half of the footage um so I decided for this Paris vlog that I was going to do it in a style that was more like um, footage with music behind it because whenever I talk to the camera I ramble I'll be doing it now and this clip is probably gonna be like four minutes long Um yeah so this Paris vlog is gonna be like more kind of arty I guess you could say um, so I wasn't I realized that afterwards I hadn't really been explaining what I was doing and I was just like well it takes me so long to go through everything it literally took me days and days and days to go through the Dominican stuff it's hard to do that you know and have a full-time job so I'm sure you can appreciate that that fact but anyway see i've just gone off on one i've just rambled and rambled and now i've gone completely off topic so back to what i was originally gonna say jeez we were in paris on saturday sunday and monday and i filmed on saturday and sunday as much as i could and then monday i mean sunday night we went out for dinner and we went out for drinks and uh i'm just gonna say it i got really really drunk and the, the next day I felt horrendous like I don't know what like normally I get a hangover but they're okay I can deal with them and I can you know walk I, I was I was ruled out I, I had to like be dragged around Paris for that day and I was ugh, not in good form so I couldn't even muster the strength to like get my vlog camera out and because I was just so like so hungover um I know a lot of people would probably be judging me and being like, well, why do you drink then? And I'm just like, because that's what I do. I don't do it all the time. It was a special occasion. It was Dan's birthday. And I just had one too many. I never, I'm normally that bad. I normally can very much handle my drink, but uh, for this occasion, I, I couldn't. So I just thought that I would round things up a bit because I realised that I hadn't said like we were leaving and didn't get any footage of the flight home or anything. We had such an amazing, amazing time in Paris. It was so lovely. Um, it's such an amazing city and I've been before but like I've never been like um, with the other half. So yeah, it was so nice, really romantic and Dan had a really good birthday. So that's all fantastic. So I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and I have got a lot of videos coming up so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe so that you can see those and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! So this is the box that they send out. It's a subscription box so you get it every month and inside, ooh, ah! So I've got a little thank you card from the company which is really sweet. I've also got this little card which is going to help me figure out what everything is. Okay, so let's open the box. Ooh, can you not? Okay, so this is what we have. So first I'm gonna go for these and I don't know what anything is because 